April 23rd, 1945 A.D. Garing Telegram On April 23rd, 1945 A.D., head of the Luftwaffe and Adolf Hitler's designated successor, Hermann Goering, sent the Fuhrer a telegram asking for permission to take over as leader of the Third Reich. Goering and Hitler have known each other for over 20 years and has been his right-hand man since 1933. Hitler stated in 1939 that Goering would be his chosen successor in case anything should befall me. In 1940, Hitler named Goering the Reich Marshal of the Greater German Reich, and a year later issued a secret decree naming him his deputy in full power if he ever lost his freedom of action. On April 21, 1945, Hitler and his cronies were hiding inside the Führerbunker in Berlin, while the city was attacked by the Soviet Red Army. Goering managed to leave and arrived in Bavaria the very next day. Goering, not wanting to sit on his hands while the Third Reich collapses, sends Hitler a carefully worded telegram on April 23rd. It read, My Fuhrer, General Kohler today gave me a briefing on the basis of communications given him by Colonel General Jodel and General Christian, according to to which you have referred certain decisions to me and emphasized that I, in case negotiations would become necessary, would be in an easier position than you in Berlin. These views were so surprising and serious to me that I felt obligated to assume, in case by 2200, no answer is forthcoming, that you have lost your freedom of action. I shall then view the conditions of your decree as fulfilled and take action for the well-being of the nation and fatherland. You know what I feel for you in these most difficult hours of my life, and I cannot express these in words. God protect you and allow you, despite everything, to come here as soon as possible. Your faithful, Hermann Goering. One of Hitler's lackeys in the bunker, Martin Bormann, intercepted the message and read it, and felt Goering was planning a coup d'etat. Hitler's buddy, Walter Huell, said that Goering was just looking out for what's best for the fatherland and would never try to seize power. Josef Goebbels agreed with Borben and said that Goering is trying to take over as leader of the Third Reich. According to Albert Speer, Hitler completely loses it and on April 25th brands Goering as a traitor to the Third Reich by saying that he has committed high treason and strips him of his rank and demands that he be arrested. Goebbels and Admiral Karl Donitz were officially named Hitler's successors, while Goering was kicked out of the Nazi party.